Welcome back to NAM, a veritable candy store for all things pro audio and music. If you love music, there's no place better. My second year here is a great chance to check out the latest in hearing aids and hearable devices. A lot has happened in the last year since I came here. Then I was a new hearing aid user. They were barely tuned up and I had hardly gotten used to them. They were also a new model, so there was no app control as yet. This year I have full app control. I've got them tuned and I switched to closed fit. On the hearable side, I have at hand the latest new hearer device, the IQ Buds 2 Max. Just released at CES a week ago. We're going to give them both a trial inside the noisy exhibit hall. Like last year's video, this isn't a classic review both because my hearing loss is beyond what new hearer is targeting and because the IQ Buds 2 Max I have is a pre-production unit. In particular, the ability to focus the mics forward is not running. But that feature worked well in the Boost model last year, so I don't expect anything different when Max is released. Anyway, rather than a review, these are my observations on the utility of modern hearing aids and assistive devices in difficult conditions. NAM is a challenge for anyone because the noise comes from all directions, from both voices and musical instruments. It can also be quite loud in places, making it an ideal proving ground. My experience this time confirms the conclusion I made a year ago. Whether you have mild or more severe hearing impairment, modern hearing tech does wonders for improving the quality of life. When situational assistance is all you need, a consumer device like New Hearers works well. The difference this year is that the new IQ Buds 2 Max adds active noise cancellation, or ANC, so that they also behave like a modern earphone. When, for example, on the train and listening to music, you can turn the ANC on to lower the noise level. No hearing aid has ANC today, but that's not possible in a device which is both discreet and comfortable while providing all-day battery life. My rechargeable Phonak Marvels typically deliver 18 hours or more, even when I also use them for calls or audio streaming. Other modern rechargeable hearing aids deliver similar life, but no consumer device comes even close, ANC or no. So a situational device can deliver good music quality and ANC in addition to hearing correction in exchange for less than all day battery life. My hearing aids do filter the audio picked up by the microphones to make speech more intelligible. A normal hearing person hears all the noise but still understands the conversations around them. My hearing aids are like that. In fact, they sound so natural and are so comfortable that I even after more than a year, I still sometimes forget to take them out when I go to bed. It's only when my head hits the pillow that I realize they're still in, then I have to get up and take them out. In contrast, the new hearer and similar devices are fine for wearing some hours, but can't beat my hearing aids for all day comfort. The new hearer also made more distant sounds less natural. That took some getting used to, but it's also less important when, for example, sitting at a table in a loud restaurant. Intended for situational use, they do their job well for those who need help in environments like NAM or a noisy pub. The other difference, of course, lies in the severity of one's hearing loss. On the milder end, customized amplification can do the job. This is the value of devices like new hearers. But as I've learned from experience, when one's hearing loss is severe, it takes more than that. The fact is, it's not always possible to simply drive higher levels into an impaired ear and get good results. In my case, it took several appointments with my audiologist to optimize my hearing by giving feedback and having her make multiple adjustments according to her expertise. The most important thing is that if you have any range of hearing loss, there is a device to make life easier and more rewarding. Trust me on this. Like most everyone else, I waited too long to deal with mine. I finally got tired of checking out of conversations I couldn't hear or asking for a person to repeat themselves, even when it was quieter. Being a social person, I enjoy myself so much more now that I don't have to struggle to understand others. Speaking of, I'm off to meet my family to have some fun. Let's see how long it takes to get there. Hey Google. How long will it take to get the pinstripes in South Barrington? With moderate traffic, it will take you 26 minutes to get to pinstripes by car. All right, ready to rock.